This opening shot is in a good category because it's a nice visual shot of the music video with the camera slowly zooming into the room. And it's mainly because it slowly shows the setting around them before the lines actually start. Emotional ass, ungrateful ass Get bitches. Unstable ass, confrontational ass, dumb bitches. I like the way the song starts. Kendrick's character was obviously approached by Taylor's character in regards to cheating or something else. And he greets it with annoyance and labeling her as confrontational. Something that is way too prevalent. Always act like your shit don't stink, motherfucker, grow up. This is such a good response from Taylor's character. Because one, Kendrick's character is trying to throw a pity party with this line. Wanna bring a nigga down, get what I'm trying to do right. While also not assuming responsibility. Hey yo, 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 they arguing again. I swear I'm tired of these emotional ass, ungrateful ass bitches. Oh yeah, they definitely break it up this time. Yo. Always act like your shit don't stink, motherfucker, grow up. Yo! <laughs> Fucking up your shit, bitch, you must be bleeding this emotion. This line and the rest of the first verse does a great job showing the mind games Kendrick's character displays throughout this conversation. The same mind games that Taylor's character mentions. See, I don't know why you like playing mind games with me. First, he becomes argumentative when he gets up and dismisses her feelings by telling her she must be on her period. Then, while she's talking, he gives her a look up and down, trying to throw some sexual tension into the conversation, causing her to weaken her argument. Then, when he starts talking again, he tries to remind her of all the things he bought her. Bitch, you tripping. Who got you that rolling chain? But when she brings up the car in her name, And who put that car in my name? He tries to add some more sexual tension by asking her, What you think I'm gonna kiss your ass? But when she slaps his ego by calling him lame, Nah, nigga, you fucking lame. He goes back to being argumentative. You know what? Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, nigga. Nah, fuck you. Ooh, where's my time and energy trying to be good to you? I like the way this second verse starts. The camera goes behind Taylor's character as she walks around the house while Kendrick's character follows her. Little dick ass nigga that's trying to go big. But you were sucking this dick though. What should I should have sucked here? What you say? <laughs> this whole delivery is gold. Yo, I'm I'm going over there tonight, nigga. Don't say I'm going over there tonight. Don't say shit to me, nigga. Don't say shit. Keys. Give me my keys. I'm gonna be late for work. Fuck your job. Today gonna be the day you walk to that bitch. This whole verse is fire with them trying to hurt each other's ego. I mean, once Kendrick's character realized she was gonna win after she left, he grabbed the keys in order to make her mad. Give me my fucking keys! Ah, now you mad at me, I got you hollering for nothing. Then they continue to onslaught. I'd rather fuck on your cousin. Bitch, you said you go fuck who? You heard me, nigga, it's nothing. <laughs> nigga, you dirty and you broke. How are you goofy and gonna- <laughs> You the reason why strong women fucked up. Why they say it's a man's world. Sheesh. This verse is so good with Taylor and Kendrick's character telling the other how they really feel about each other. You the reason our cousin can't recognize that he's abusive. You the reason why bitches like you still playing this music. Oh, she like our Kelly, huh? Just wait till I get her in the closet. It's a split decision. Bros like you and real victims. I think it's interesting to note here how her body language becomes more calm as Kendrick's character starts becoming more assertive and tell her how he feels. And then by the end of the monologue, she's already off the conversation and turned on by him. Pussy and mouth is all you got. Lay this pussy back on the couch. Doggy style, then you get on top. What a great way to end the song with them solving absolutely nothing in the relationship, showing how toxic relationships continue, especially in the black community. I don't know, man. I'm thinking when I go with it tonight, I'll probably like bring some flowers and act like I randomly bumped into her. You know what I mean? Like, oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, you know, just chilling. Oh, you like these flowers? Oh, you know what? They for you. Say some shit like that, you know what I mean? Smooth, right? Right? No, I'm, I'm just saying.
Never mind. She. Nigga, you dirty and you broke. How are you goofy and gullible?